It's all about the power of connection. How about Colette? Huh? Whatever coffee she's drinking in the morning, that's the one I want. My goal today is that we're going to break up with stress. That's it. And here's how we're going to make it happen. All right, first of all, we need to get real about this concept of work-life balance because work-life balance is dead. Seriously, as long as we have this image in our brains of these scales being balanced, we are always going to up our stress because we're setting ourselves up to achieve the impossible. So let's start calling it what it is. Work-life blend, work-life integration. How about life? Your guys' jobs are tough. Let's just own it. I mean, you're all doing more with less and you expect everybody that you work with to do the same. Change is constant, which means that what worked yesterday may not work tomorrow. The market is crowded and competitive. I mean, we're all trying to vie for the attention of our teams and our customers in a world where attention spans are almost non-existent. Getting a phone call already. Oh, good news, it's a client. Oh, a client you worked with before that you wowed. Well, they want to be wowed again. You've got to come up with another wow. But guess what? The budget is a wow. And when it comes to life, the second thing that we really need to do if we're going to lower our stress is we've got to manage our expectations. Yeah. Because the biggest mismatch in human stress is the difference between expectation and reality. And can we just start with our expectations around time? I mean, too many of us have this warped sense of how much we can really accomplish in a day. Get there, hurry, run, you're, go, 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 go. Okay, oh, horrible customer service, she dropped the phone. All right, someone's waiting for you. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. I just saw Colette Carlson speak at the special event. I've got to say, I have never seen anybody do a better job of customizing their material towards the audience. What a hit. Right, we're living in this virtual world where we have never been so connected to everybody, and yet we've never been so disconnected. And it doesn't matter how global, virtual, or, or specialized we become in our technology. I mean, one thing hasn't changed. I really believe that the one thing that has not changed is that your success is in direct proportion to your ability to connect. People still buy from people they know, like, and trust. People still want to work with and for people they know, like, and trust. We are all in sales and marketing. Connection. It's personal, it's emotional. Your people skills are no longer a nice thing to have. They have become your greatest competitive advantage. And we can call them soft skills or, or emotional intelligence. I mean, I don't care what you call it, but if you don't really dial into this and, and take ownership of it, you're gonna be out of the game as a business and as an individual because it's the only way that we're gonna be memorable and have an impact or influence or be able to sell anyone anything. Hi, my name is Carlos, and today I was part of the audience here for Colette. You are unbelievable. You capture my attention. You're very relevant. The materials are so enthusiastic for me. Connected leaders. They ask questions. They listen to learn. Because once you think you know, you stop listening. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in life, we're gonna meet a lot of closed fists. And so many of us tap dance around them. We tell everybody else about the situation, but we just don't go to the source and ask for what we need to succeed. If you're gonna create connection, you need to get your ass together. I'm glad I was asked in today. Thank you for your time and energy. I was very impressed with her, her 
uh, knowledge of brake clips and how it should be presented, uh, all the different challenging things that our general managers and managers have to deal with, uh, the emotional connection, the message that she gave us uh, was one of the best speeches I've heard in many years.